Tenwick Hospital has always been a place of hope for so many of our patients who come to the hospital in need of help. We have done cardiac surgeries for several years now, and we have come to a point where we realize that the need for cardiac surgeries in this country and even beyond far outweighs our capacity. Looking back at the history of cardiothoracic surgery service at Tenwick Hospital, you could say it is just like a mustard seed. It has been started as a, a, a small program, but exponentially grown through years. I was asked by a colleague of mine to look into uh, starting a cardiac surgery program in Kenya. Uh, uh, this colleague was at Brown University. So uh, my friend Eric Gustafson, who's a perfusionist, and I came to Kenya, but this site was not ready for uh, the uh, advanced care that cardiac uh, surgery required. My friend Russ White had been in Kenya for several years uh, at Tenwick Hospital, and uh, when he came back to the States, we met about uh, doing something about the burden of rheumatic heart disease uh, in Kenya. So that was all in 2006 when we found a group of children uh, with pure mitral stenosis and used this tubs dilator. This was given to me as a going away memento from fellowship in England and was really meant to be a, a, a piece, a museum piece on your office shelf, but we used it to do heart surgery on these children. Since that time, that changed everything here at Tenwick. Um, my journey with the cardiac program at Tenwick started in 2005 when I came as a medical officer intern to Tenwick Hospital and during the time um, I worked in the pediatrics and uh, medical wards and saw a lot of patients with both congenital and uh, acquired heart disease, specifically rheumatic heart disease. Um, there was a huge burden to care for these patients beyond the medical care that we could give. Um, and so working with my uh, uh, consultant at that time, Dr. Russ White, um, we decided to carry out a screening exercise where we screened 120 people who were suspected to have heart problems. That time it was based on a visiting team mainly and we had a visiting team from the United States and, and Canada coming and uh, working with our local team. A year later we traveled to Kenya. We set up a two-week uh, clinic uh, where we operated on uh, six patients with uh, mitral valve disease. We also did uh, patients with uh, patent ductus arteriosus, and I think we did a pulmonary artery banding as well. At the time, we didn't have a heart-lung machine to do major open-heart surgery cases. Um, and in partnership with um, his uh, colleague, um, Dr. Jim Fingleton, um, we undertook um, six surgeries, and all the patients did very well. Um, and actually, some of them have their own native valves to current date. Since that time, that changed everything here at Tenwick. Uh, we acquired equipment for open heart surgery, we've trained staff, uh, we've acquired uh, enough people uh, to bring this about and over that succeeding time we began step by step with larger and larger and larger cases. Um, that exercise just opened our eyes to the burden of rheumatic heart disease and heart surgery here in, uh, need here in Africa. Um, and so with a meeting of like minds from that exercise in 2006, then uh, the idea was birthed of the possibility of starting open heart surgery at Tenwick. Um, for me, the experience was eye-opening because it was the first time that I was involved in a heart surgery case. Um, and I had the pleasure of actually holding a beating heart in my hand. We took advantage of the support that we had from hospital management and the visiting team and totally committed ourselves to build local capacity. We are one of the few programs in the entire Sub-Saharan African region that has succeeded in establishing an ongoing, consistent program of heart surgery. And not only that, a training program. In fact, I was the first fellow to join this training program at Tenwick, which is under COSEXA, and then completed, went further on to the United States and for further training and came back and joined the growing local team. This was a game changer because from the year 2018, we started uh, doing heart operations on very many patients. The numbers have been steadily increasing and currently we operate on about 250 
open heart on patients every year. This is about half of all the patients receiving open heart care in this country. So this can be done, heart surgery can be done safely and regularly and consistently in this region that so desperately needs this care. Once we start using the uh, cardiothoracic center, we'll be able to ramp up the number of patients we can operate on every year. From our current capacity, we were able to operate on a maximum of about 300 per year. We'll be able to operate on about 3,000 uh, per year. So that is really increasing the capacity of this institution. We realize we need each other. We cannot do it on our own. We need your help. We need your support. We need to come together, hold each other's hands, and be able to work together to make this venture a great success. Our hope and our desire is to see this center helping so many people and creating a huge impact even beyond our country. Let's partner together, let's work together to make this vision come to a great success.